A problem many people face is that they are a demon in creative, but they aren't that good in game. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps that help me transfer my creative skills to tournaments and ring. Creative helps with the fundamentals for ranked and competitive, but it doesn't take into account many factors. Ping is something that needs to be addressed when transferring your skill from creative to in-game. In creative, your ping will be stable and noticeably lower than in-game. The strategy I use to get a similar ping to in-game is that I usually switch to a region with higher ping from mine. In Europe and other regions, there isn't really a good option to switch to because any other region is high ping. But for me, since I'm an NA Central, I practice with NA East in creative to get a similar amount of ping to in-game ping. Practicing with higher ping will get you used to it and will help with transferring your skills to in-game. The next reason creative is different from real games is FPS inconsistencies and delays. There isn't a real substitute for in-game practice to help with FPS and delay, but you can try this one trick that helped me. When playing in a real game, figure out what your FPS usually stays at. For me, it stays at 120 FPS, so I cap my FPS at 120 even while playing creative. This gets me used to that FPS every time I play. But a problem many people face when trying to transfer their skill to in-game practice is that they don't play enough in-game. They only practice in creative and they are so surprised when they don't do well in tournaments. It is really important to practice and rank your scrims to get closer to the real deal tournaments. No creative map, no matter how realistic it is to a real game, will ever completely substitute a real match. The next thing people do too much is play unrealistic maps. Lots of maps focus on certain aspects of skill, but they don't stimulate what a real game could look like. 1v1s have unlimited mats, zone wars have their own things they work on, and box fights are too confined to act like a real game. The closest you will get to real games is realistics. Forever Zone Wars has high intensity of real games with moving zones, and you don't have to sit through the downtime in between rounds to continue fights. There's also a duo Zone Wars map, so you can practice with your duo at high intensity as well. The code will be at the top of the description. The last reason why people struggle to transfer creative skills to in-game skills is because there are some things in-game that can't be practiced in creative. Dropping into something in real games that creative players have no experience with will put them at a disadvantage when it comes to getting the best drop for their POI. Another thing that there is no creative equivalent to is rotations. Creative allows you to practice lots of firings and mechanics, but creative can't help you with rotations. A way to practice rotations is playing ranked or scrims. The last thing creative can't help you with is map knowledge. You need to know where the chests are and where to farm for the most materials, or where the barrels are. This will only come by playing in-game. For anyone that made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing. Peace out.